Hi everyone, this is Penny with In Stitches with Penny. I have a very special video for you today and I wanna start it off with scripture. Philippians 4, 4, let's see, Philippians 4, 6, and 7. Don't fret or worry. Now this is the message because I chose the message because I thought it would be easier to comprehend for everyone. So don't fret or worry. Instead of worrying, pray. Let petitions and praises shape your worries into prayers, letting God know your concerns. Before you know it, a sense of God's wholeness, everything coming together for good, will come and settle you down. It's wonderful what happens when Christ displaces worry at the center of your life. I'm going to go on. Summing it up all, friends, <clears throat> I'd say to you, I say, you'll do best by filling your minds and meditating on things true, noble, reputable, authentic, compelling, gracious, the best, not the worst, the beautiful, not the ugly, things to praise, not things to curse. Put into practice what you learned from me, what you heard and saw and realized. Do that, and God, who makes everything work together, will work you into his most excellent harmonies. I just love how the Bible is superlative about different things. Uh, it says, don't be anxious about anything. Not some things, but nothing at all. So in our time of crisis right now in America, I do have kind of a fun, quirky <laughs> little video to show you um, because this is a commodity. <laughs> I have 13 rolls left in my house and I can't find it anywhere. So instead of joining in the panic and going crazy, I just thought I wanna be a part of the solution. And I do have a solution. It's a crazy solution, maybe but maybe not. So I was thinking, you know, some moms like to use cloth diapers. That's probably a great thing right now. And I thought, well, why not cloth toilet paper? You know, cause this is gonna go and once this is gone, it's gone. And we might not be able to get any for a while. We really don't know. So I had this idea I went to Joann's yesterday and I purchased several yards of 100% cotton flannels. Now, my grandson picked this one out. He liked the frogs. <laughs> so I got several different colors and patterns and just, just to kind of make it fun. I know I kind of went overboard. I always do. <laughs> and you can put them together. So I had this idea and I even looked on YouTube and there was some videos that were produced like three, four years ago of this very same topic. So what I did was, I, I don't know if you know this, but a sheet, just one little sheet is four by four. So I thought I'll do a four by eight sheet and I doubled my fabric and I just surged it. That's all I did. So this is a four by eight. So in a yard, I got 16 of the large ones, the four by eights, and eight of the smaller ones. I had extra fabric and I just didn't want it to go to waste. So I thought, you know, grandkids, you know, that have smaller hands and areas, this would be great. Now, I know you're probably thinking, oh, that just sounds disgusting. <laughs> Maybe it is, it probably is, we'll see. Um, but I was thinking, you know, a little further than just this. These are washable. I did wash all the sizing out of it. I got, I, I went to, I went to Bed Bath & Beyond and got these little squirt bottles because in one of the videos I saw, what they did was they just put water in here. And if you, I know this is a really sensitive subject, but if you need to clean off a little bit more, spray this down and then clean. And then you can fold and fold. Okay, so now you have your um, dirty rag. What do you do with it? I have a plan for that too. So in my video where I made a makeup bag, and I'll post that below, 
I did line this with some, oh gosh, what is this called? Here it is. It's the vinyl fuse and it's fusible and it even says on here to use it for diaper bags. So I fused a piece of this on to a fabric that I chose and I made a little makeup bag, which will in reality be a disposal bag. That way it's all washable. So when you go in and you need to wash everything, oh, I have one more tip here. I got out some of my essential oils. I have several because we know this is gonna kind of stink a little bit. So take your favorite essential oil and just put it on a cotton ball and then pop it in here. So that way when, you know, all of this is in here, I wouldn't leave it in longer than a day. You know, you're gonna close it up and hopefully that won't, pen the, the smell won't penetrate. And then when you're ready to wash everything at night, take it all out, put it in the in your washer and dryer and you know wash it really well. And they should all be able to put it in the washer and the dryer. And then it's ready for the next day. So I'm gonna show you how I made mine. It's not hard. One yard, again, makes 16 of these. So I would think one sheet here and it's doubled you'll see it's got the same print on both sides you can get creative and put two prints on the other side on one side one on the other you know whichever one you want to do then you've got 16 because like i said you know wipe in the areas you need to and you know fold it up do it again and you can fold this a couple of times and get good use out of it then pop it in your bag with your essential oil cotton ball, close it up, and this is small enough you can take it with you. So when you're in a bind, you know, you're traveling, this might be a good idea. And then when you stop at a hotel or something, use their facilities to, to do your laundry. You might even take a little bit of laundry soap with you. So this is my idea. And I even thought you could do, you know, paper towels seem to be going off the shelves like crazy. You wouldn't even have to um, double it or you wouldn't even really have to finish it off if you don't want to same with this if you don't have a serger and you just want to stitch it or you just want a single one and you just cut squares either way works um, but you might do maybe a 12 by 18 inch piece here and then use that for uh, just wiping down tables or uh, you know, bathrooms or whatever, just whatever you would use as a paper towel. You would use your 100% cotton. I would not use polyester because it's not going to be absorbent enough. And then wash the sizing out of it. So put it in a really hot water uh, with some detergent and wash it and then put it in your dryer and then it should just be perfect. So join me here and I'll show you how to make our toilet Hmm. What do we want to call this? Our toilet wipes? <laughs> I don't know. If you have some ideas, let me know. <laughs> okay, so here's what you're going to need. I have a yard of fabric. This is just a flannel that I found at Joann's. I did notice that there's a lot of flannel on the remnant table. Just make sure it's 100% cotton. So you shouldn't have to spend a lot of money on this. I just thought this rose, is, this rose pattern was really pretty. I use my quilters ruler. You can use any kind of ruler. I have my I have my rotary cutter and then I have my fabric marker. And then I just used my serger. That was all I used to make all of these little um, toilet wipes. So this is eight by four and one yard. You can get 16 of these. And this is four by four, because I had a little extra, which you'll see when I cut these out. And they're four by four, and I have eight of these. There is one other item that I forgot to mention that I used, and this is fabric glue. And I just used this on the edge just so it wouldn't move. So let's get started in making these wipes. So the first thing I did, I mean, I've already washed my fabric. And I put, I'm gonna to wanna to iron this down 
and I'm gonna put my selvages together and then square off all of this. So I'll be right back once I've ironed all of this down. Okay, so I have it all ironed down and I just wanna kinda of square this off a little bit. And we'll see, it's, you know, it's a little, I'm just gonna square this off with my ruler and my rotary cutter. So I'm just gonna make sure this fold line is uh, right against this ruler. And I'm just take my first pass and just get rid of this piece right there. So the next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my fabric glue and I'm just gonna run it along the edge. I really only did this one time. I didn't do it down every edge because I found it wasn't necessary, but it did help with this first pass with the serger. All right, so let's lay this back down. You'll notice it's wrong sides together. And now I'm just gonna iron this edge. So here I am, I'm gonna iron this edge down just so that glue will hold that together. You know, again, if you just want to pin it, that's fine. I just had some fabric glue on hand and thought it was a good idea. Okay, so that's all squared up. So you're see, you can see I'm working from the right to the left. Um, you know, you can certainly go the other, other direction. And I'm just gonna iron it all down just so it's nice and crisp and it's easy. I don't have any crazy kinks in it or folds. And now we're gonna start measuring and marking. So I'm gonna, my ruler is five inches wide. I only need four. So I'm gonna mark that. And I'm just gonna take my fabric pin and run it all the way down. Just like that. Now I'm gonna come over here and I'm gonna do another four inches. And again, if you don't want to sew this and just cut it, be my guest. If you're not a seamstress, you don't have a sewing machine, you can still make these. They just might not be doubled but you could definitely cut them as a, as a single. I just thought the double would give it a little more stability. That's crazy how, you know, a little virus has just taken the world on and then how panicked people become. That's why I wanted to start out with Philippians because it's just a scripture that I have gone back to for like the last year where it just says, be anxious for nothing. We just need to calm our minds. You know, God's got this. And he gave us creative minds to figure out a solution. And this is mine today. <laughs> this is my solution. So you don't have, you know, we just be a little prepared we don't have to panic and get out somewhere and then we don't have anything to use. So I'm sure there's some people out there that are traveling that are kind of in that predicament. And I have been going to, I went to Office Depot, I went to Home Depot, I went to Whole Foods. I, on Tuesday before the panic, I when I didn't know, I was going to the grocery store at Trader Joe's and I happened to pick up a package well, I mean, it's not going to last months. <laughs> so I, in my house, I do have 13 rolls, which might last me a couple of weeks. You know, we have family over quite often, and I'm not going to tell them they can't use it. <laughs> That's silly. So I decided I want to be a part of the solution 
and not a part of the panic. Okay, so you'll see I have just a couple of inches left here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is take this to the serger and I'm going to make my strips. So I'm gonna serge down each side through here and then I'm gonna cut them, cut two pieces at four by eight and then I'll have an extra piece for the smaller four by four. So you'll see, if I put this on here, you'll be able to see that I have and if you want to go this way, that's fine. I just chose not to. But you can see you'll have two long pieces and one short. So for again, for a yard, you'll have 16 longs and eight short. All right, so I'm ready to serge. Nothing special on the serger. That's where I always, all the, the settings are where I always have it. And I'm just going to start. Okay, so at this point, I have my longer piece on the right, and I'm just gonna run the edge of my presser foot right down through the line that I created. And I'm gonna fold this under as I go. Here's the strip and I'm going to cut two eight inch strips. So there's one. Two. And then I'm going to cut this into a four inch square. Now I'm just going to take this back to the sewing machine, or the serger rather, and serge the rest of the edges and it will be done. Okay, so there you have it. Going from this, when this runs out, to this. And these are reusable. Do not put them in the potty to flush them. <laughs> they will back things up terribly. Uh, so one yard of fabric, 16 and 8. Same with this one. So let me know what you think, if you've made these, if you are forced to try them because there is no more toilet paper to be found at the moment. And I'd, I'd be interested to, to hear what you have to say. So don't panic. God tells us not to be anxious for anything, not even this. So rest easy. We'll get through this together and have a wonderful weekend. Bye.